Hi everyone, this is Swati from The Purple Flower. And today we'll be demonstrating how to use EFT tapping for lowering your depression. You know, depression or sadness or any icky feeling, it can attack anyone anytime. And you don't have to suffer through it is what I'm trying to say over here. You don't have to just go on and on and on feeling it for the next many days. And it happens any times. This is not something that is going to cure your depression. But what I'm saying is that this particular round, this particular tapping round, and there are things that can help you with depression, but this is what will help you immediately and make you feel a lot better without doing anything else except just focusing on what you're feeling and tapping. And uh, you will just, you just have to experience it to see how much better you can feel and so easily. The trick is not to put all the emotions and everything that you're feeling under the carpet and forget about it and just stuff it inside of you or just get over it or just snap out of it. No, you can't. You have to do something to deal with the emotions, to feel it, to acknowledge it, to respect yourself for what you're feeling and heal it. So I will show you this tapping round in which we will get over to, get, to feel a lot better even when you're feeling really, really horrid. So to, to demonstrate this, I have my very good friend, Christine, over here. And hi, Christine. Hello. She has, she has been going through something and she's feeling really low. And we will not discuss exactly what happened with her. And uh, because we've already done that and for privacy's sake, we're not going to mention this. But when I lead her through this round, please pretend that I'm taking you through this. And each time I, I, I ask a question, Answer it for yourself. When I ask her how she's feeling, answer to yourself, how are you feeling? When I ask you how sad or how depressed are you feeling on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not at all, 10 being maximum, answer to yourself where and how depressed you feel. When I ask you where in your body you feel, locate in your body, close your eyes and feel it. Where do you feel the physical sensations? Do you feel a heaviness in your heart? Do you feel like your head is all tight? Do you feel sadness? Do you feel an ache? Do you feel like the, the, a feeling of stabbing? You know, there are many different ways that people feel the stress or the sadness. You can feel a pain in your shoulders. It's different, different for different people. So answer, answer for yourself as Christine answers me, how you are feeling. And then just follow the directions and tap along with us. So Christine, how are you feeling? Um, very sad. Just an overwhelming sadness. An overwhelming sadness. And if I ask you to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being nothing at all, not feeling at all, and 10 being the maximum sadness, where do you put the sadness? About a 9. About a 9. And how exactly does it feel in your body? Uh, a heavy weight and a heavy weight in your throat, throat all the way down to just about my stomach. And so all the way down to your solar plexus, from the throat to the solar plexus. Yeah, yeah. And anywhere else in your body? In my head, um, a tightness or pressure. And how would you describe it? Just like feeling this <laughs> like pushing in on it. How do you describe the sadness? You had said earlier, overwhelming sadness. Is this how exactly how it feels? Your words? I, I want to cry. You want to cry, yeah. See, it doesn't have to be a, a reason, you know. I mean, I can just be going along and, and start crying. So it is important for all of you to get your exact words of how you describe it. Christine describes it as a heaviness from her throat onto her solar plexus an overwhelming sadness in her heart and a tightness in her head and she feels like crying all the time. Mm -hmm. Think for yourself, how do you feel exactly how? The more specific you get about how you feel, the more you connect to your body and the more you connect to your feelings, the better it'll be. And don't worry, I'm not going to tell you to feel this emotion and keep feeling the sadness forever. It'll be just a few minutes and you'll feel a lot better. So I promise you that you'll feel a lot better. So just connect with your feelings. Do not be afraid of connecting with your feelings. Connect with me. Let's begin. We begin with a setup statement, which is said three times. 
and it begins with the karate chop point, the side of the hand, and we tap over here while saying three state a statement repeated three times. So repeat after me, even though even though I feel really depressed. I feel really depressed. I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though I feel this overwhelming sadness. Even though I feel this overwhelming sadness. And this heaviness from my throat to my solar plexus. And this heaviness from my throat to my solar plexus. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel this sense of overwhelming sadness. Even though I feel this sense of overwhelming sadness. And this tightness in my head. And this tightness in my head. I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Now, as we begin tapping, please make sure that you don't, I know if you're doing it for the first time, you will focus on the points and what we're doing. But rewind the video and then do it from the beginning. While you're doing it, your focus should be on your feelings. For example, Christine over here will focus on the tightness in her head. She will be focusing really completely on her depression and her overwhelming sadness. She will be focusing on the this heaviness that she feels in her throat, in her chest, and her solar plexus. Mm -hmm. And so for you, whatever the symptoms are, please focus on that. We begin with the first point, which is the eyebrow point, and it is at the beginning of the eyebrow, not anywhere around it, but exactly where the eyebrow begins. Now, there are different ways of doing tapping. Different people do it different ways. I like to do it the long, old way because it hits all the meridian points and it makes me feel a lot better. It works best for me. But later on, as you practice this more, if you can find a shot, if you feel the shortcuts work better with you, you're most welcome to do it. Right now, I'll show you the long way. So begin with us. This feeling of sadness. This feeling of sadness. We keep focusing on the feeling. This overwhelming feeling of sadness. This overwhelming feeling of sadness. Side of the eye where the eye socket begins on the bone. This overwhelming feeling of sadness. This overwhelming feeling of sadness. This tightness in my head. This tightness in my head. This heaviness in my throat and chest. This heaviness in my throat and chest. This heaviness in my solar plexus. And then that's in my solar plexus. Under your eyes, on the bone of the eye socket. This heaviness in my head. This heaviness in my head. This overwhelming sadness. It's overwhelming sadness. I feel like crying. I feel like crying. This heaviness in my stomach. This heaviness in my stomach. This heaviness in my chest. This heaviness in my chest. This heaviness in my throat. This heaviness in my throat. I feel so sad. I feel so sad. Under your nose. This heaviness in my throat. This heaviness in my throat. This overwhelming sadness. This overwhelming sadness. I feel like crying. I feel like crying. In the crease of your chin, I feel really, really sad. I feel really, really sad. This deep depression. This deep depression. It just comes suddenly. It just comes suddenly. I feel really very sad. I feel really very small. I want to cry. I want to cry. With a collarbone. I'm really sad. This overwhelming sadness in my chest. This overwhelming feeling of sadness in my throat. This overwhelming sadness in my stomach. This overwhelming sadness all over my front torso. I feel like crying. Now in your heart, where the heart is, just tap over there. You don't have to really thump it, just tap. And so this sadness I feel right here. The sadness I feel right here. This deep sadness that I feel here. Deep sadness that I feel right here. I'm feeling horrible. I'm feeling horrible. I feel so depressed. I feel so depressed. Now under your arm where the bra strap is, you can do it with both hands or single, it doesn't matter. This sadness. This sadness. This deep overwhelming sadness. This deep overwhelming sadness. I feel extremely sad. I, feel extremely I want to cry. 
I want to try. And your wrist, you can do it just one or you can do both. I like to do both together. This deep sadness. This deep sadness. This overwhelming sadness. This overwhelming sadness. I can feel it in my chest, in my throat, in my stomach. I can feel it in my throat and chest and in my stomach. I want to cry. I want to cry. Then side of your hand again, the sadness. The sadness. Side of the thumb. You know, where the line is, with the first line on the thumb, and the side of it. This sadness. This sadness. This deep, overwhelming sadness. This deep, overwhelming sadness. First finger, side. Pressure. I feel sad. I feel sad. I want to cry. I want to cry. This heaviness in my chest. This heaviness in my chest. Keep focusing on that heaviness in your chest. This heaviness in my throat. This heaviness in my throat. This heaviness in my stomach. This heaviness in my stomach. This tightness in my head. This tightness in my head. Middle finger. This feels so sad. This is overwhelming sad. I'm so, so sad. I'm so, so sad. I want to cry. I want to cry. There's this tightness in my head. There's this tightness in my head. There's this heaviness in my throat, in my heart, in my stomach. There's this is happiness in my throat, in my heart, in my stomach. I feel horrible. I feel horrible. I want to cry. I want to cry. Little finger. I don't think I can ever get over it. I don't think I can ever get over it. This is too strong. This is so strong. This is too overpowering. It's too overpowering. Side of the hand on the karate chop point. This overwhelming sadness I feel right now. This overwhelming sadness that I feel right now. Now the back of the hand in the groove between the ring finger and the little finger. Keep tapping there and look forward. And then close your eyes while you keep tapping and keep breathing. Open your eyes again. Now eyes hard right down without shaking your head. And then eyes hard left down without shaking your head and keep tapping, keep breathing. Now eyes, make it go clockwise all over your face. Now make your eyes go anti-clockwise without shaking your head. And now we're going to hum a song. <laughs> we're going to count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then again. <laughs> and then top of the head. This overwhelming sadness. This overwhelming sadness. I can feel it all over my throat, my heart, my stomach. I can feel it all over my throat, my heart, my stomach. This overwhelming sadness. This overwhelming sadness. This depression. This depression. It feels like a tightness in my head. Just like a tightness in my head. Eyebrow point. This tightness in my head. This tightness in my head. This overwhelming sadness. This overwhelming sadness. I want to cry. I want to cry. Side of your eyes. I want to cry. I want to cry. I feel so sad. I feel so sad. I feel such a great sense of sadness within me. I feel such a great sense of sadness within me. Under your eyes. This heaviness in my heart. This heaviness in my heart. This sadness in my heart. This sadness in my heart. This tightness in my head. This tightness in my head. Under your nose. This heaviness in my throat. This heaviness in my throat. This overwhelming sadness. This overwhelming sadness. In the, in the crease of your chin. This sadness. This sadness. This overwhelming sadness. This overwhelming sadness. I don't think I can ever let it go. I don't think I can ever let it go. I think I'm going to feel sad like this forever. I think I'm going to feel sad like this forever. It's too powerful for me. It's too powerful for me. These emotions are way too powerful. These emotions are way too powerful. And your collarbone. I feel this deep, overwhelming sadness. I feel like crying. I still feel like crying. 
Now on your on your chest in the in the heart where you're feeling the sadness, this sadness. Sadness. This deep, deep sadness. This deep, deep sadness. Under your arms. This overwhelming sadness. This overwhelming sadness. This heaviness in my heart, my throat. This heaviness in my heart and my throat. And in the stomach. And in my stomach. And now on your wrist, I feel really sad. I feel really sad. I feel deeply sad. I feel deeply sad. On your thumb. I feel really sad. I feel really sad. I want to cry. I want to cry. This heaviness in my heart. This heaviness in my heart. This sadness. This sadness. This heaviness in my throat and my stomach. This heaviness in my throat and in my stomach. I feel so sad. I feel so sad. Middle finger. This tightness in my head. This tightness in my head. This depression. This depression. This overwhelming sadness. This overwhelming sadness. This depression. This depression. Little finger. I feel so sad. I feel so sad. I want to cry. I want to cry. Karate chop point. I feel so sad. I feel so sad. I want to cry. I want to cry. Top of your head. I'm really depressed right now. I'm really depressed right now. This deep overwhelming sadness within me. This deep overwhelming sadness within me. This tightness in my head. This tightness in my head. This heaviness in my heart. This heaviness in my heart. Now take a deep breath. <sighs> take another deep breath. And take a sip of water. Make sure that when, when you're tapping, you are focusing on the feelings, on, these sad, on the sadness, and everything that you feel within your body, whether it's tightness or heaviness or a pain, anything that you feel, don't take your focus off the feeling. Keep feeling it. Really feel it and use the words that you will use to describe your feelings. This is very important when you tap. So, Christine, how depressed are you feeling right now? On a scale of one to ten, uh, about a one. <laughs> about a one. That is amazing. From nine, you've gone down, gone down to one. Very amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to cry right now? <laughs> How does your head feel? It's a lot easier, and in, in the temples, it's like. <laughs> How does your throat feel? I can swallow and breathe. <laughs> and your heart, your stomach. It's much lighter. Much, much lighter. Yeah. So you do feel it at one though. So we will do it once again and bring it down to zero. Nothing at all. What, what we do is we will do this. And then even though the video stops, what I ask you all to do is rewind. And then before you start the video, make yourself feel those feelings again. And then do the whole thing again. Till you cannot make yourself feel it again anymore. So rewind make it go up again it'll go down just like you saw in christine's case this was just one round of tapping in one round of tapping she went her depression went down from nine to one and in the second one it'll go down to zero she'll be feeling much better and then we will do a positive round but do the positive round only after you really cannot bring it up anymore that's the way that's the way you will really really feel a lot better you will actually physically feel better and emotionally so let's begin again even though even though I still feel a little sad, still feel a little sad. I deeply and completely, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though I still feel some tightness in my head, even though I still feel some tightness in my head, I deeply and completely, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though I still feel this heaviness in my heart and in my throat and in my stomach. Even though I still feel this heaviness in my throat and in my heart and in my stomach. I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. I broke out. This heaviness in my heart. This heaviness in my heart. This sadness. The sadness. Side of the eyes. I can still feel like crying a bit. I can still feel like crying a bit. My head still feels a little tight. My head still feels a little tight. Under your eyes, this tightness in my head. This tightness in my head. 
this heaviness in my heart, throat, and stomach. This heaviness in my heart, throat, and stomach. This sadness. This sadness. And keep feeling those feelings. Whatever you're feeling, keep focusing on it, even if it is less. Mm-hmm. Under your nose, this sadness. This sadness. This tightness in my head. This tightness in my head. I feel like crying. I feel like crying. In the crease of your chin, this sadness. This sadness. I feel like crying. I feel like crying. On the collarbone, this sadness. This sadness. I feel like crying. I want to cry right now. I can cry. And I can cry and cry. This deep heaviness in my chest. This heaviness in my throat. This heaviness in my stomach. Heaviness in my stomach. In your heart. This heaviness in my heart. This sadness. Heaviness in my heart. This sadness. This sadness. I want to cry. Sadness. See, I want to cry. And now do it on your solar plexus. On your stomach, where you're feeling it on your stomach. Tap there also and say, I want to cry. I want to cry. I feel this heaviness in my stomach. I feel this heaviness in my stomach. I feel sad. I feel sad. Under your arms, I feel really deeply sad. I feel really deeply sad. I want to cry. I want to cry. I feel heaviness in my chest. I feel heaviness in my chest. In my throat. In my throat. And in my stomach. And in my stomach. The wrist. The sadness. The sadness. Will it ever go away? Will it ever go away? Thumb. The sadness. From the sadness. This tightness in my head. This tightness in my head. I can feel it in my temples. I can feel it in my temples. This tightness in my temples. This tightness in my temples. First finger. This tightness in my temples. This tightness in my temples. And this sadness. And this sadness. Middle finger. I feel like crying. I feel like crying. This sadness. This sadness. The middle finger. This heaviness in my throat. This heaviness in my throat. This heaviness in my heart. This heaviness in my heart. This heaviness in my solar plexus. This heaviness in my solar plexus. I feel like crying. I feel like crying. Throughout the chalk point, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I still feel sad. I still feel sad. Back of the arm, the hand, tap and just look. And keep breathing. Then close your eyes and keep tapping. Keep breathing. Open your eyes. Eyes hard right down. Eyes hard left down. Eyes clockwise. Eyes anti clockwise. And then let's hum a song. <laughs> And now let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then let's hum a song. Top of your head. This sadness. The sadness. The sadness in my heart. The sadness in my heart. This heaviness in my heart. This heaviness in my heart. This tightness in my temples. This tightness in my temples. Eyebrow point, this tightness in my temples. This is sadness in my temples. This sadness. This sadness. I want to cry. I want to cry. Side of your eyes, this sadness in my, uh, in my heart. This sadness in my heart. This tightness in my temples. This tightness in my temples. This heaviness in my throat and in my stomach. This heaviness in my throat and in my stomach. Under your eyes, this sadness. This sadness. I want to cry. I want to cry. Under your knees, I want to cry. I want to cry. I want to cry now and keep focusing on the feeling of wanting to cry. This, this sadness. This sadness. In your chin, I want to cry. I want to cry. I want to cry. I want to cry. I feel this tightness in my temples. I feel this tightness in my temples. 
I feel so sad. I feel so sad. Collarbone, I feel sad. I feel like crying. I want to cry now. Under your arms, I want to cry. I want to cry. I feel like crying. In your wrist, I want to cry. I want to cry. And keep focusing on the feeling of crying. I want to cry now. And now, the thumb, I want to cry. I want to cry. First finger, I want to cry. I want to cry. Middle finger, I want to cry. I want to cry. I feel so sad. I feel so sad. Little finger, I want to cry. I feel so sad. I want to cry. I feel so sad. Side of the hand, I feel so sad. I want to cry. I feel so sad. I want to cry. Top of your head, this tightness in my temples. This tightness in my temples. I feel really sad. I feel really sad. I want to cry. I want to cry. And now take a deep breath. <sighs> Another one. And drink some water. So this is something that we go on and on again and again and you think of how you're feeling again and activate it again from one to 10. Then again, think about where it is and exactly how your symptoms feel in your body and then do it again till you can bring it to zero and till you cannot bring it up again, at least that day. And the more you do it, the more you're going to clear out all the negative feelings and those neg the negative energy as you tap on these meridian points and think of the negative feelings, the more you do it, you will see that in a few days, the feeling, your general feeling will be much more relaxed. You just feel a lot. If you do this just like about 10 minutes to 30 minutes every day, at least and you can, um, maximum, I mean, it would be really awesome if you could do it for an hour a day and do this. And you will see remarkable changes in you and your, in your emotions, in your energy, if you do this every day. And let me know how you feel. So Christine, how depressed do you feel right now? Um, zero. <laughs> do you want to cry? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> how, what about the tightness in your temples? It's relaxed. 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 And how do you feel in your chest, in your throat, in your stomach? I can take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> it's much better. It's relaxed. It's relaxed. Something. When you think about whatever was making you upset, whatever had triggered you, because this is not the thing only. This is depression is something you've been feeling, and these mm -hmm. things just trigger it and make it worse. Yeah. So whatever you had brought you down this time, the trigger this time. What do you think about it? When you just think about it, what do you think about it now? How you you don't have to go into details, but what do you think? Well, it's still sad, but it's not, it doesn't, it, it's just like, well, that's sad, you know? It's like, yeah, it's sad that it happened. <laughs> like, oh, well, that wasn't very nice, you know? <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm okay. You're okay. I'm okay. Yeah. What do you believe? Do you believe the human spirit is stronger than emotions and your body? What do you feel? What are your beliefs? I absolutely believe that the human spirit is stronger than, than all these external things that, that come in at us. Um, and I can't say enough about this. Um, I, I didn't know anything about it. I, I, we had only talked a little bit. Um, we've become very dear friends in the last, but I was in a really desperate place and, um, kind of that, you know, what have I got to lose? I've tried other things and, and it's not work. And this has made such a phenomenal I am so glad we connected because it's just, it's just so much fun talking to you and people wouldn't imagine. Most people would think people who are depressed must be forever depressed. It's not like that. Depression as, as the other people who are depressed know, they can actually carry on looking like very normal people laughing and everything. And only they're yeah. feeling inside. They could be smiling, glowing. 
but there have been a lot of people shocked to find out that I was actually depressed. They won't even believe that you're depressed. Many people are like that. I'd, I'd much rather not be depressed. <laughs> you might not, not be depressed. And you can still carry on and do things. And, and it's just that at some point of time, beyond all those masks and all, you snap. You tend to snap finally. Yeah, and that's what we don't want anyone to do. You should not snap. And so instead, we manage this. We manage these negative emotions and we work on them every day till you get lighter and lighter and lighter and you feel a lot better. Yeah, and that is key. You've got to do your homework, kids. <laughs> You've got to do your homework. Do it every day. You've got to do your homework. Even on the days when I thought, well, you know, I'm not feeling too bad, I went ahead and sat down and made myself at least go, go through the first round. And if I was feeling fine at the end of it, fine, go to the second round and do the real wrong. <laughs> Make yourself do it because it'll creep back in. And, and that's the key is to just keep chipping away at it. Keep yeah, chipping away at it. Away at it. So yeah. when we use tapping, we use it in two ways. One is the general depression that you feel. So just do it every day. You know, you don't even need a reason. As depressed people know, you don't really need a reason. You can bring up the depression anytime. You think about it and you get depressed. Even if your life, if you look around logically, everything is going perfectly in your life. Everything is beautiful. There would be no reason for sadness. Even then you can be depressed. So this, what the round that we did, you, this is for you to do daily and bring down the depression. And the other thing, the other way we attack this whole problem is, you know, through our lives, even if we don't, even if we think we have gotten over things, but there are things throughout our lives that have happened that we have just shoved under the carpet. Those things, we, we refuse to feel them, but those things haven't healed, they are there. And they keep on and on bothering and they keep adding to this depression. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you make a list of all the things that have bothered you and this list, you might not be able to make it in one day, can be a lot. So just make like a list of five things and then work on them daily. Till that, that incident or that remark or whatever that happened had happened, it doesn't matter anymore. And we'll do that in another video. It will just stop mattering. That incident will stop mattering when you do this. Tapping. And these are the table legs. These are the legs that make the tabletop of depression. So we're going to chop down these legs one by one. And you know what? You don't even have to do all of the chopping, all the legs, because once you remove the main ones, the other ones just come tumbling down. And so this is the way we'll be handling depression through EFT. But right now, because she's feeling zero depression, we are going to settle that off, top it off with the icing of the cake by saying, we're doing a positive round. Now we're going to do the good affirmations and really make, make ourselves feel good. So for this, we don't have to do the setup statement. We just straight away go to the eyebrow point. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm actually feeling really relaxed. I'm actually feeling very relaxed. Side of your eyes. My head feels relaxed. My head feels relaxed. I feel wonderful. I feel wonderful. I know I'm stronger than this depression. I know I'm stronger than this depression. Under your eyes. Now because Christine is a woman of faith, she's spiritual, she does believe in this, so I'm going to use the things that work with her. You use the, the words and statements that work with you. So... Christine and I both believe strongly that our spirits, a human spirit is much stronger than any emotion, any bodily function, any chemical, any external drama in this world. So my spirit is much stronger than this depression. My spirit is much stronger than this depression. Because my spirit is made from God. Because my spirit is made from God. Under the nose. God made me. God made me. I'm a divine child of God. I'm a divine child of God. I'm a holy child of God. I'm a holy child of God. And I'm much more powerful than these emotions. And I'm much more powerful than these emotions. This is nothing compared to what I am. This is nothing compared to what I am. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am peace personified. I am peace personified. I feel this calmness within me. I feel its calmness within me. I feel this relaxation within me. I feel really, really good. I can take on this world. And I can live a joyful life. None of these incidents have to affect me. In fact, even the depression without incidents cannot affect me. 
In fact, even the depression without incidents is going to affect me. Depression does not hold power against me. Depression does not hold power against me. Because I am a child of God. Because I am a child of God. My spirit is much stronger than depression. My spirit is much stronger than depression. And their arms, I feel good. I feel good. I feel happy. I feel happy. I am really, really happy because I have a lot to be happy about. I am really, really happy because I have a lot to be happy about. No matter what happens, no matter what bad things happen. No matter what happens, no matter what bad things happen. No matter how much depression just rises against all of this. No matter how much depression rises against all of this. I will still be stronger. I am my spirit stronger. Because I have divine joy within me. Because I have divine joy within me. I am, I am divine. I am divine. I am holy. I am holy. I am pure. I am pure. That's how God made me. That's how God made me. God does not create junk. God does not create junk. <laughs> I am good. I am good. I am wonderful. I am wonderful. I am amazing. I am amazing. And I am happy. And I am happy. I can feel this happiness within my heart. I can feel this happiness within my heart. I can feel it bubbling up within my heart. I can feel it bubbling up within my heart. I feel happy now. I feel happy now. I feel really happy. I feel really happy. I feel so calm. I feel so calm. I feel so relaxed. I feel so relaxed. And this is what is the true me. And this is what is between me. And then take a deep breath. <sighs> And drink some water. <laughs> it does make you thirsty. Yes, it does. All that speaking. <laughs> so how do you feel now? <sighs> Much better. Much does better. the positive round make a difference? Yes, it does. It does. Doesn't it? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel right now? What do you feel right now? Yeah. <laughs> what do you feel right now? Uh, calm and peaceful and very yeah. relaxed. And very relaxed. Yeah. I really love to see this. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I wonder if it was ever going to happen again. <laughs> I know. And you know how to handle it. You know when it happens again, you can take care of it. And you will be doing this every day. I know you're a very sincere person. This I must say about Christine. And this is how I wish everybody could be. She's really disciplined. You know, she has decided she's going to really banish depression. Mm -hmm. And I know she can because whatever homework I give her, she really does it. Even if we are chatting online or something, she'll say, I have to do my homework now, so I'm going. <laughs> she's really good about it. She does it every day and it has made a difference in her life. She's been working with me for about two weeks. Two weeks, Christine, or three weeks? Three wow, weeks. Third week. Yeah. Third week. So how are you feeling? Yes, having fun. <laughs> From the beginning of how you were, when before we started to now, how much has it changed? How much has your, your work with this, how much has it changed? Oh, it's been phenomenal. Um, and I tried other things, and I'm not knocking them. If that's what you need, that's what you need. Yes. you got to find your own thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing was touching this. And I would just fall apart at the drop of a hat. I mean... I, I, well, one of my first clues that it, it, things were not in my control anymore. Mm -hmm. I, when we first met, I told you that I, I had been listening to this uh, lecture on joyfulness. Yeah. And I'm like, uh -huh, yeah. And I'm writing this article for a, a Facebook page. And, and it's about joy and overcoming. And I'm like, uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm bawling because I'm like, no, it's not. It's not joyful. <laughs> Nothing, and you can't get over anything. And, and to the point where I, I considered very well, actually, I did close my Facebook page, uh, Wow Words for Wisdom. Mm -hmm. And uh, my friend stopped that, but uh, I, I, I felt like a fraud. I'm like, I'm telling these people to just carry on, don't give up. I'm like, <laughs> and now I, I actually believe. Well, I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. It's a ways off still, yes. but at least it's there and I can see that. And 
I'm, you know, not having to be talked down anymore. I, I, I can kind of, you know, handle things myself and, and breathe a little bit. And, but it had really become a very desperate and ugly situation. Um, I just, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Even if I didn't like them, I wouldn't wish that, those feelings on anyone. It when was you just this way and then you tap on your own. How fast can you bring down these sad feelings that you're feeling? Pretty quickly. Usually it only takes, uh, well, 90% of the time it only takes one round. One round, yeah. One round and you're done. Yeah. So that's, that's a lot faster than, you know, when you're feeling depressed, most people feel that it's will go on and on and on forever. Yeah. In one round, you can bring it down and feel okay. Yeah. <laughs> and do it and feel, feel better. And okay. as depressed people know, it's not that you're feeling depressed all the time. There are times when you're, when you're so busy with other things, you don't really feel it. But when you're feeling down, you might as well tap and get yeah. away. Yeah. 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 And over time, over time, you are going to feel a lot better. As if you were feeling 100% depressed before three weeks back, general depression, where would you place it now in the three weeks of your practice? Oh, about maybe 50. Yeah. 50? It does still creep up. Yeah. Actually. Um, when, uh, that that is when there are triggers, but then there is no trigger. Yeah, yeah, it, and it's so much easier to uh, talk myself out of. I guess this is the best way to put it, or tap myself out of it. Tap yourself out of it. Yeah. So the general depression, if it was hundred percent, now you say it'll be about fifty percent without yeah. triggers. Yeah, then there are no triggers. Yeah. yeah. So that is that is an amazing. I think you've achieved a lot. Fifty percent oh. gone. 50% of your general depression gone in just three weeks and yeah. you've done nothing else for it apart from this. It's just your faith and this. Can I can move my head again? Move your head. <laughs> yeah. You can move your head now. <laughs> yeah. And I can smile again and, and that's one thing that my friends have noticed. Um, I Skype all the time. I'm addicted. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, one of my friends that I Skype with pretty much every week um, said, you, your smile is fixed. She fixed your smile. <laughs> and I hadn't even realized it, but she said, you just, you tried to smile before, but she said there was a time when it just looked like a cardboard cut out. He said, yeah. you know, your, your smiler was broken. <laughs> so it's nice. <laughs> Christine, believe me, people, Christine, not generally smiles. She laughs and she can make me laugh like crazy. I'd much rather be that. She's extremely witty. The kind of thing she says. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. She I mean, can laugh a lot and she can make people laugh a lot. So, <laughs> so please practice this and try it for yourself. And sometimes, you know, if you're feeling it really badly, do it with a practitioner because the combined the, it's a combined thing, the combined energy of two people and somebody else leading you through your emotions because when you're feeling emotional, you can't be very real, very objective about it and you can't really think, okay, exactly what are the steps? You're just feeling it. You don't want to sit and think from one to ten how much and, and that too by yourself. It's really nice to be led through it. And if you can't get somebody else, well, do it with the video because even that is good enough. But if you're really feeling sad, Please take help, find a practitioner, find a life coach, anyone that you feel comfortable with. I'm not saying, I'm not going to plug in and say, here, me, me, work with me. No, work with anyone that you feel comfortable with. Please work with somebody. You don't have to suffer like this. It really is not. This is a short life we have and we have every right and every business to live it joyfully. So please find someone who can help you and lead you through these tapping sessions and can make you feel exactly what you're feeling. So, you know, it just takes a few minutes of those feeling. You don't have to suffer through those horrid feelings for hours. You just have to feel it for some time and then let it go. So I wish you all the best. If you people have any questions, please feel free to contact me from my webpage, www.thepurpleflower.com or you can email me at swati, S-W-A-T-I, at thepurpleflower.com. And let me know how I can help you. Goodbye.